Okay, so we want to talk about the normal repair function. What does it do? So uh, basically, each of these uh, menu items here, when you hover your mouse above them, that's a little uh, help text. And like it says here, be careful, every modifier will be applied, but the original object is kept. So in this case, it's important to know that this will be something you would normally do uh, at your latest uh, step at your workflow because it's gonna go in and uh, going from non-destructive to destructive because it's gonna need access to your mesh data. So to be able to have access to that, it needs to apply the modifiers, just so you know that. So let's add in a uh, cylinder. And why we do this is because this is normally something that's uh, happening. Uh, you're getting this issue when you're dealing with curved services, right? So auto smooth on that. And let's go to the edit mode, go to the face, control B to give it a little chamfer, like so. And also let's change the mat cap to the cliche red one. And why we do that is mat caps are really good to look for deformation or stretching or any sort of artifacts showing inside the lighting here, the light sources. It should be evenly spread distributed. So if you see anything, that's uh, definitely a shitting issue if you see any stretching or deformations of any kind. So that's a good thing for use matcaps for. So now we have this. And before we punch any holes or anything in it, then we want a good, while it's still in a good shape, let's uh, go in and make a shift D, make a copy, and then hit the right mouse button to get it back again. And this one we're going to call NS and disable the eye here. So for this one, you will go in and let's uh, punch a hole in it. So F to bring the menu up, cut, right click to get the grid. And we want to hit C to make it a circle. And we're just going to start from here. Drag out your mouse, release it here, left click to validate. Move the move the view so you can see how many how much depth you want I don't want that much that's around here so that's good and right click to get out of that view so immediately when you see when you'll be punching holes inside of a uh, curvature services you'll get these strange shading issues around it so the way how you would be able to deal with that is that you need access to the mesh data first and foremost that means you need to go in and apply your modifiers and then you will go into the edit mode and then you would need to deal with the the artifacts around the circle if you if there was any normally there, there is and you need to either have a the best tool for this is definitely have a mesh machine tool the add-on that will go in and just select your loop around and then you go in and clean up it's going to go in and auto clean up uh, by using the mouse slider and uh, it's almost similar way that uh, fluent works when we're going to do that function the automatic way but the vanilla way, you will choose auto merge here, and then you will go in manually and just pick pick a vertice, hit G twice, and go up, and then just merge it with another vertice. Same here, and then you will just go that, do that all the way around here, so until you have some really good uh, artifacts, so they're gone. But you will still have some shading issues. So when you have that done, go back to the object mode. Just to see how it looks like. So for me, no artifacts in this one, so we are lucky. That's only uh, shading issues. So now, what we need to do is we want to define the area where we want to transfer the good shading from the other uh, cylinder we made onto this uh, cylinder. So that's gonna be like these here. So go into face selection mode. Just click on these. So I have these one, two, three, four faces here, and go into the object data. Uh, data property, vertex groups. Add. Let's just call it normal, like so, and assign it. Make sure the weight is one. And if you test it by select, deselect, it should go away. And select the same faces should be selected. So that works. Let's go back to the object, and now let's see if the magic works. So remember. This is our bad one. If we hide that and uh, and uh, show display our our good shape, it's this one. So we want the good shading from this one. We want to steal the good shading from this one and just transfer it over to this one. So 
for that we're going to use data transfer uh, modifier and in the source we want our good cylinder which we call ns click on that the mix mode we want it to be in replace mix factor of one versus group the one we just uh, made created and called it normal and then uh, start looking at the shading here when i click on the next two buttons the first one will be face corner data for this one we're going to choose custom normals look at the shading now when i enable this it's already trying to uh, evenly distribute out the shading is stealing already doing the work behind the scenes but now comes the last button here and that's the projected face interpolated look what happens boom and there it is so uh, if you look up here we're still looking at our bad shape but now you have look at the light source here we have a perfectly cylinder here with perfect shading on so that all that happened behind the scenes so that was by going the vanilla way that's the beauty of this data transfer that's really helpful but uh, you need to know the basics so that's good that you know this how vanilla how blender normally works when you do this now let's uh, see how it works with the uh, fluid so delete everything Uh, let's see let's add in our own cylinder so create right click let's get out some resolution uh, we on C we are what we want to be so let's make a circle here left click and let's just get it up solidify like so and then a uh, second bevel and hit C to get that chamfer look like so okay so right click to get out of that mode and let's look at the from the front okay and you see uh, if you go into edit mode this is just basically, let's see, the C wireframe is just one vertex point right now, right? So if we go back to solid mode, so a fluent object is just basically a plane with a ton of uh, uh, stacked uh, modifiers. So let's see what we're going to do. If, just like before, we're going to make a cut and we're going to do it right here and it's going to be a circle like so and approximately the same diff as the other one hit and release look we are seeing the same shading issues here i'm not sure if you can see it by youtube how it's going to compress it but a lot of shading issues around here so what you will do here now you remember what all the steps we did before to get to this point so here f and then you would choose normal repair and it's going to guide you here first it's going to say step one merge near vertices vertices so that means uh, you're gonna move your mouse from left or right and it's gonna look at the vertices which are nearby which is around this face you see when I go when I move my mouse to the right it's clamping them too much together so I want to find a good spot where I think they are most and basically that's here so left click to validate and continue that was step one step two it says select the normal source and the normal source is a cylinder by itself click on that and now step three select the phases that you want to be repaired so we're just gonna do a couple of these and these right and then press enter and right click to quit and there it is done and that that was the fluent way very very easy and you see it uh, removed all the modifiers as well so now if you right click and say edit mode it's an actual uh, piece of geometry but now so it's not a fluent object anymore but uh, this was just a short demonstration of how efficient the fluent actually the automatic fluent work it uh, works behind the scene uh, and uh, really assist on this uh, boolean operations so uh, it's a no-brainer to have these tools by your hand fluent is a win-win for me so this was just to show behind the scene what uh, a normal repair function does inside of the uh, fluent 
Thank you for this, guys. If you like this, please subscribe, hit the like button, make a comment. Uh, I will make more of these fluent tutorials. Thank you, and see you in the next one. Bye.